All right, guys, the pile of parts is getting smaller, and the engine is starting to uh, come together here. I um, put all of the head bolts in. I'm reusing my old head bolts, by the way, because they're in, within spec. I know a lot of you frown on it, and then some guys, hey, that's cool. But um, <clears throat> I tried to buy a new set and get a decent price on them, but it was going to end up being close to 200 bucks for a set of, you know, Cummins uh, original um, parts and these bolts are within spec the manual says that you can reuse them if they're within spec so I'm going by the manual I'm gonna I'm gonna give it a shot and um, of course I'm going to follow the manual as far as uh, the torque sequence and all that kind of stuff too so um, nothing special here I'm just gonna leave it up to you guys to uh, um, you know check out what the manual says it's on quickserve.com that's the uh, Cummins site, and it, they actually have a manual posted out there, which is really nice. You don't have to pay for it or anything, and uh, it's specific for this engine. So just uh, just follow that and uh, follow the sequence if you're you know kind of following along with what I'm going to do. This is a vlog. This is not a how-to. Like, this is the first one I've ever rebuilt, so you guys uh, can learn from my mistakes. <laughs> and um, anyway, well, uh, I can't wait to get this thing fired up and see what it's going to what it's going to sound like or if it's going to even run. Well, we'll see when I get done. So let me uh, let me get to it. I've got to figure out what I'm going to do with this old block, too. It can be machined and, and reused. so I can pre-fill this, but I don't have any oil yet, so I'm just going to kind of dry fit. The instructions and it says this can be installed dry. I had one idea. I was going to try to use this fluid damper off a oh what year is it? Probably 2013 or something. 6.7 Cummins, which is much better, much heavier duty, and it's got a tone ring on it, which I could use for uh, you know picking up a signal. But I've got another another idea about that. Um, I think so. I've got somebody that's going to help me out with uh, getting this signal converted to um, a uh, 60 minus 2 or 58, um, a 58 uh, tooth sprocket so that my transmission 
Um, we'll know how fast the engine's spinning. I got the cam gear pinned at top dead center so that the uh, pump and everything is lined up, which the pump really doesn't have anything to do with this, but I've got pinned for top dead center so that I can uh, know where to adjust the valves. So basically, you pull that pin on the back, which you have to do for uh, aligning the pump up and everything, that little pin right there. Um, you pin it, it pins the cam. There's only one, you know, one hole it can go into, and it should be top dead center, which means uh, it should be in a compression stroke for number one. And uh, once it's on that, you can pull the pin on it, adjust the valves the way it man the manual says, which it says it gives you uh, intakes and exhaust that you can adjust in order. And then you turn it around 360 degrees and adjust the remaining valves. So it doesn't get much easier than that. Something my son uh, gave me for Christmas. This is his uh, Christmas present to me. Pretty cool, huh? I was just looking at the engine and I was thinking, ah, you know what? I know a good place I could put one of these. So my paint wasn't any good. I, I cut up an old decal and just cut the white off it. So I'm going to put that on here. This will let me know, you know, top dead center. Never done that before, but, uh, just cut up an old decal and marked it that way. Let's me know top dead center. Now I can pull the pin and rotate the engine when I need to. All right, that one's set. After I get the last set, it won't, it won't go to the next size up. 11 hundredths and then I Supposed to be torqued to 18 foot pounds. Oh man. Biggest thing is don't get in a hurry. Well, guys, I think uh, that about wraps up the detailed stuff. Um, the rest of it's just uh, plugging the you know injectors in and stuff like that, kind of the reverse of what you've already seen. I'm not going to bore you with that stuff. So, um, hopefully, next video I'd like to uh, bench fire it, not necessarily make it run long term because I'm not going to hook a radiator up to it or anything. I just want to you know kick it over and let it run for a second or two and uh, see where the leaks are and and what I need to do. Just make sure everything you know kind of works properly. So. Uh, maybe a little while before the next video. I'm waiting on a few tiny little parts, um, you know, throttle linkages, stuff like that. And uh, just won't be long, but uh, hopefully next video you'll see it fired up. Hey, thanks for watching my channel. If you haven't subscribed already, uh, please do for future updates. Remember, build it, don't buy it.